Peace be with you. My name is Alan Kiesler. I am back on Facebook Live for the first time in quite a long time. And uh, the only reason I'm coming on now is because I'm announcing here also, as I have on my Facebook, uh, excuse me, on my web site already, allintelligentlife.com, that I'm going to beginning be beginning the fall or the autumn term of the Institute of All Intelligent Life. Uh, that is this evening here in California at 7 p.m. And this class will be on extraterrestrial spirituality. If you've been missing me uh, from my daily chats on Facebook, it's because I've been really deeply absorbed in meditating on and reading about and praying about this very, very important topic, in my humble opinion. Perhaps one of the most important topics that we are facing in the world today. And that is to understand our relationship with people from other planets and specifically the relationship of our spirituality and our religiousness with their spirituality. And I don't say their religiousness because I've studied and tried to figure out <laughs> And I've been asked this question many times when I've been talking about this subject also. Uh, what is the religion of extraterrestrials? And it really seems to me that they don't have what we call religion. Most of them anyway, the ones that I'm in touch with. So uh, the ones I've studied about mostly, they don't seem to have the sort of religion that we have. And it's a very, very intriguing, interesting subject matter. So I'm speaking now in English, although I usually have been speaking in Urdu in my morning here in California morning daily chats. The reason is because the class that I'm talking about will be in English. So um, I won't say too much more about it now. Uh, you can go on my website www.allintelligentlife.com for more information about the timing and the details of this course. Uh, there won't be too many details there because, frankly, I myself am still exploring this issue. And I'm going to be teaching this class a little differently from the class that I taught last year, uh, which was thoroughly researched in advance, and I had a plan as to what textbooks I would use and everything. Uh, right now, the only books that I've decided to use are Zachariah Sitchin's books on the what he calls the extraterrestrials from Nibiru. Um, they have been called other things by other scholars of the Sumerian language. But Zachariah Sitchin was a great scholar of Sumerian, and he interpreted the Sumerian texts, the ancient Sumerian writings. Sumerian is the oldest civilization known to modern Western scholarship, anyway, uh, in what is now Iraq, southern Iraq. So the Sumerian language has been deciphered in the 19th century. And uh, it, in the beginning, people, the scholars who translated it, considered that they're talking about gods, similar to the Greek gods. But Zachariah Sitchin made the interesting insight or conclusion that, no, they were not talking about gods. They were talking about advanced extraterrestrials who had technological abilities far beyond that of not only humanity at that time, but humanity even at the present time, and certainly in the 19th century when those texts were first uh, translated. So this will be the first topic that I will be addressing in this class on extraterrestrial spirituality, beginning uh, in California this evening at 7 p.m., on the other side of the world, for those of you who are in Pakistan, that will be 7 a.m. In India, it will be 7.30 a.m. And you can calculate from wherever you are according to that time zone. So I'm not going to say much more now. Um, the main purpose of me coming on this Facebook chat was just to announce that. So I hope all of you who are interested will be able to attend uh, if you can't watch it at that time. 
it will be on my Facebook page as a live chat, which is then posted. And I will also post it on my Facebook, uh, excuse me, I keep saying that, on my website, www.allintelligentlife.com. So I think I will just take a minute now to see if anybody has any questions specifically about this course that I'll be teaching. Um, all right. I don't see. All right. Well, there is one question that's related here. Salman Shah is asking, Sir, please tell us about the meeting of Qaidi Azam and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Was that a spiritual meeting or physical as well? There are different accounts of that meeting. Uh, and sometimes, as I myself have experienced, it's not clear whether the meeting is exactly spiritual or exactly physical. It seems often very physical, even though it may not be. But in the case of that meeting of Qaidi Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Alayhi, the founding father of Pakistan, he met the Holy Prophet Muhammad in 1934 in England when Qaidi Azam was there and uh, there are different accounts of that meeting some of them uh, suggest it was a spiritual meeting or a dream but others uh, the ones that I consider more accurate uh, portray it as a very physical meeting that Qaidi Azam was awake and uh, whether it was a spiritual vision or a physical uh, appearance of the Holy Prophet is not completely clear to me but it was uh, not a dream. And I think that Qaidi Azam saw the Holy Prophet personally. Uh, whether the Prophet appeared in a physical sense, that is whether Qaidi Azam could have touched him if he had approached him because there was no physical interaction like that. But he simply saw him and spoke with him and heard him. So I take it as a definitely a very, very real occurrence, but not a dream, a spiritual vision or a physical appearance of the Holy Prophet. It doesn't really matter to me. Just like uh, many of my experiences of meeting extraterrestrials and meeting spiritual personalities, sometimes they seem to be totally physical, uh, but then they may be spiritual. <laughs> so, and of course there are dreams also which are a little bit different because that's when you're sleeping and you experience the presence of some personality. All right, so that is very actually related to the course I will be t teaching starting this evening, California time, tomorrow morning in the Eastern Hemisphere at 7 o'clock in California, 7 a.m. in uh, Pakistan, 7 p.m. in California. So, uh, because really the foundation of my interest in extraterrestrials was meetings which I'm quite certain were physical and other meetings with spiritual personalities which may have been spiritual rather than physical, more like visions than physical meetings. All right. Muhammad Akmal asks, Sir, what you did special do which you go over the sky? Um, I don't know of anything special I did that I was uh, benedicted with meetings of extraterrestrials and I was taken out into outer space and I have been blessed with meetings of great Sufi saints and holy personalities like the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and other holy personalities. I don't know what I did, anything special, that I may have received that blessing. I don't know what it was. All right. Asad Raza says, Satan cannot appear in the beloved form of the Holy Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, uh, that is a tradition in many spiritual traditions in many religions that the form of the Holy Prophet or the spiritual master cannot be imitated by Satan either in dream or physical appearance. All right, Muhammad Akmal, sir, what you recite at one night and you see a personality asked you two questions and told you to start a tariq. Um, I was simply reciting names of God. Uh, that I think you're talking about that meeting in Ghotki, Northern Sindh in about 1983. Um, at that time, that's simply zikr. 
Uh, did you visit Medina ever? Abu Hamza asked. No, I have never visited Medina. All right, I, that's all the questions I see, so I won't continue this. I will just repeat the information that I started in the beginning, that uh, today in California time, this evening, that is about uh, what it will be 23, a little bit less than 23 hours from now, which means this, excuse me, not 23, but uh, 11 hours, a little bit less than 11 hours from now. So that will be this evening here in California at 7 p.m., and that will be tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. in Pakistan. And I will be speaking about extraterrestrial spirituality, which for me over the last few weeks I've been undergoing a sort of spiritual retreat and uh, been meditating a lot about this question. And it's very, very difficult for me to try and deal with this issue because we have our conceptions about spirituality and religion on this planet. And it seems to me, as far as I have been able to understand, that that is not the usual attitude that people have towards religion uh, that we have here. It's a, it's a question that I'm very, very interested in exploring and trying to understand. And the, an the uh, answer may be quite different than what we expect. Actually, it was it was very, very different than what I was expecting, the, to the extent to which I have understood it. And uh, that's <laughs> about all I'm going to say about it now. If you want to hear the answer to that little teaser, then you'll have to come uh, after a little less than 11 hours at 7 p.m. in California, 7 a.m. in Pakistan. I have a request, uh, sir, please speak Urdu and what you know about our Pakhtuns. मैं ज़्यादा उर्दू में अभी बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि मैं आज अनाउंसमेंट कर रहा हूँ बता रहा हूँ सबको कि अंग्रेजी में मैं क्लास देने वाला हूँ शुरू होगा कोई 11 घंटे के बाद कल सुबह पाकिस्तानी टाइम 7 बजे और आज ही शाम को कैलिफोर्निया टाइम 7 बजे और ये एक्सट्रेटरेस्ट्रियल स्पिरिचुअलिटी के बारे में और क्योंकि वो क्लास अंग्रेजी में है इसलिए मैं अभी अंग्रेजी में बात कर रहा हूँ सो आई विल कंटिन्यू स्पीकिंग नाउ इन इंग्लिश ओवर दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट यू नो अबाउट आवर पख्तून्स आई हैव नेवर स्टडीड एकेडमिकली और इन ग्रेट डिटेल अबाउट पख्तून सोसाइटी और कल्चर बट आई हैव मेट मेनी पख्तून्स एंड पख्तून्स and I know they're very, very hospitable. The Pakistani people are the most hospitable people that I have ever met, and among them the Pashtuns are especially very, very hospitable. The cultures of the Pakistani peoples are uh, linked with each other, of course, met all of them. And the Pashtuns also are quite both ferocious warriors when their culture and territory is threatened they can be very very frightful warriors and at the same time they can be deeply spiritual Sufis so actually the same thing applies to other groups of Pakistanis also but uh, I've noted that especially in my meetings with people from uh, PKP Pashtuns especially all right so let's see if there's anyone else who has any question Asad Raza, but your heart looks to be in Medina, though you have never been there. Well, thank you. I take that as a compliment. It is great to be in Medina, but I've never been there physically. Tahir Iqbal says, Sir, do you see anything big change in coming months in Pakistan and around the world? Uh, this is a very, very good question. Uh, I, do, I don't know if it will be within months or within a few years, but I do say, see a very, very big change coming, both in Pakistan and around the world, where uh, I will be speaking about extraterrestrial spirituality in my class starting at, in about 11 hours. Uh, and I will discuss this topic also, because it's very, very uh, significant. The, the extraterrestrial friends of ours, brothers and sisters of ours, they also have an idea that big changes are coming. So I will be sharing some of that in the class this evening also. Uh, I think that the main thing we will observe in the next, I don't say months, I don't even say years, but definitely within a decade or two, and 
I guess it will be less than 10 years, uh, there will be a major change, which we will see perhaps first in Pakistan. Uh, we're already seeing it all over the world in a spiritual sense, but I think in a political sense, in a social sense, in an economic sense, in an educational sense, uh, we will see big changes happening in Pakistan and, in, and around the world where people are waking up to the truth. And I hope that my contribution uh, to that awaking, awakening will uh, be appreciated also. And actually that's the purpose of my Urdu chats that I've been having over the last few years and of my class uh, on extraterrestrial spirituality, which I will be beginning in about uh, ten and a half or ten and three quarters hours. All right. Uh, so yes, I think a definite big change is coming. Maybe not noticeable in within months, but definitely within a few years we will see it more and more happening. God willing. Okay, so thank you very, very much. I will conclude this, not really chat or announcement in the class now, but an announcement of my class beginning tonight, this evening in California, 7 p.m., tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. in Pakistan, uh, extraterrestrial spirituality, and it will be live here on my Facebook page, and it will also be posted on my website www.allintelligentlife.com and uh, if you want more information about the course you can go to that website. Uh, there's not too much information about it but there is a lot of other information on that website that you can read which talks about different timelines because that is going to be one of the main features of this exploration of extraterrestrial spirituality because uh, there are different timelines that exist and uh, they all have a certain amount of reality. His different timelines means different historical timelines which encompass different types of spirituality among different extraterrestrials, which is the reason why this is such a difficult topic because we think of history as a single line usually, but uh, it's more like a web and or more like a delta of a river uh, where there are different streams of history and within those different streams which seem perfectly real to those within those streams there develop different types of spirituality and as I mentioned a little earlier in this uh, announcement extraterrestrial spirituality seems also to be different uh, quite different from each other the different types but more, even more different from our religion on this planet so that's the issue mainly that I'm going to be focusing on first and also the issue of the fact that there are different timelines and therefore there seem to be quite different uh, ideas about reality uh, not only on this planet but among other extraterrestrial groups also. All right, so I hope to see you this evening, 7 p.m. in California. If you're in Pakistan, 7 a.m. And if you're in other parts of the world, you can calculate your time from there. Thank you very, very much. Hope to see you in about ten and a half hours. Peace be with you.